In view of the importance these days of baseband modeling of bandpass systems, it's quite surprising how few tools there are for the design of complex FIR filters. This is easy for us to do in Slifer. If we choose a V filter and furthermore go over here to see a grid on that, not the fine DFT grid for the design but a more relaxed grid and in fact view this double-sided double so that we see the full frequency view we can see that indeed we have only a real impulse response up here to go with this nicely symmetric transfer function. If we modulate that transfer function however the plot will thicken. I can just simply grab this diamond here and begin to move this and modulate the filter up and all of a sudden I see several things. One is I see an imaginary component of the impulse response coming into play. I see the PZP over here twisting around as I do a linear shift here. This of course is a rotation in the Z plane and I can pull this back and forth. So I now have a complex filter which is occurring due to that shifting. If I remove the shifting and go back to zero shift, then of course the imaginary component disappears. However, I can still have another way of getting a complex filter by chopping off the negative frequencies or attempting to by making an analytic design. Here we see that the profile, the target profile, the red line, has indeed gone to zero and all these little samples here in the uh, frequency domain, these pearls here have gone to zero and there's a, an attempt to get a single-sided transfer function. This has resulted again in a different sort of imaginary component up here and we can take this one and furthermore shift it around seeing quite a gratifying sort of rotation over in the Z plane. This of course is not the end of the list of the ways that we could get complex filters but it's certainly a couple of easy ways.